we thought we'd take you through today the areas in which the bunker can intervene in general play. Uh, can you just take us through those five areas where the bunker can intervene in general play? Yes, yeah, certainly. Obviously, the first one is point scoring plays, which have been referred to the bunker. That includes tries and also field goal attempts. Uh, there's reportable foul play, 40-20 uh, kicks where a set restart has been ruled by the on-field officials. Uh, we can confirm goal line and 20 metre restarts, as well as the correct head and feed at scrums. Okay, is there a few examples we can refer to in regards to a few of those areas? Yes, yeah, certainly, Amy. Uh, I think point scoring plays are quite self-explanatory, so we might start with the 40-20 kicks. Sure. They showed us that they were going to be fairly hot in the early part of the season, and they found 40-20. 40-20 yep. Brisbane. Big breeze behind the Broncos. So we can see in this example that the Broncos kick the ball from very close to the 40 metre line. The ball then goes out inside the 20 metres. The touch judge indicates that the ball has gone into touch, so we have a set restart. The bunker will confirm that the ball has been kicked from within the 40 metres by Andrew McCulloch and definitely goes out within the 20 metres, therefore being a 40-20 kick. OK, well, what about foul plays? The first example is from the, the Knights-Broncos game. We saw an incident where Paulie Paulie made a tackle on the ball carrier. The referees stopped the play before the first play the ball of the next set. The bunker was able to review the incident and as a result put that player on report and a penalty awarded against Paulie Paulie. In contrast to the previous example, during the Storm and Tigers game, there was high contact on James Tedesco. However, play was not stopped and then we had to play the ball within the next set. Therefore, when the bunker reviews the incident, although it deems that the tackle was reportable, we cannot issue a penalty. We can only place the player on report. In the final example, there is a high tackle by Michael Anderson, Nathan Friend. The bunker reviews this incident, however, deems that it's not a reportable high tackle. OK, well, what about goal line dropouts or 20 metre restarts? From the, the Storm Tigers match, there was an example late in the first half where Cooper Cronk puts a cross field kick in. The referee deems that the ball went dead off the Storm. However, the bunker reviews that play before the Tigers have taken the 20 metre restart and can determine that the Tigers do touch the ball before it goes across the touching goal line. Therefore, we overturn the live decision and it becomes a goal line dropout by the Tigers. In the second example between the Broncos and Warriors, the Warriors put a kick through into the end goal, which the referee deems has been knocked dead by the Broncos. However, when the bunker reviews the play before the goal line dropout has been taken, we can determine that the Broncos do not in fact touch the ball. Therefore, we overturn the original decision to a 20 metre restart for the Broncos. All right, and just lastly, what about loose head and feeds at scrums? Yeah, from the, the Sharks and Raiders game, there's an example where the referees rule that Edric Lee knocks the ball on before Jason Mercuria then knocks it on. Uh, he rules that the Sharks will have the loose head and feet to the scrum. However, once reviewing the play from the bunker, we can determine that Edric Lee actually knocks the ball backwards. So the only infringement is from Jason Mercuria from the Sharks. So we overturn the original on-field decision to give the Raiders the loose head and feet. OK, well, has the policy changed from last year at all? No, Amy. The policy for the bunker remains the same in 2016 as it was in 2015. The only difference is now that we are in the bunker, we control our own replays. So rather than waiting for the TV broadcaster to roll a replay, we can now review the incident as soon as it happens, leading to more accurate decisions. OK, well, Bernie, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Amy.